And uh, this article or blog from Arc News is all about the differences between ArcGIS Online and ArcGIS Enterprise. Um, so I know when talking with ArcGIS users and they're trying to deploy WebGIS, there's always questions about whether or not to leverage ArcGIS Online, which is a SaaS offering, or ArcGIS Enterprise, which is a software uh, deployed on servers. Um, so this is a, a good article that kind of goes into detail on both offerings. So it says here, both products allow users to create, share, and use maps, apps, and scenes, layers, analytics, and data, i.e. WebGIS. Uh, they also power Esri apps, enabling a range of geospatial workflows from mobile to app development and supporting the developer environment. Um, but they're different products and different needs. So most critically, ArcGIS Online is a software as a service, as I mentioned, a cloud offering, whereas ArcGIS Enterprise is software you deploy in your own environment on your own bare metal servers or in your own cloud environment. Specifically with ArcGIS Online, users can access ArcGIS Online wherever there is an internet connection. This makes ArcGIS Online easy to set up and use, but it can't be customized and controlled the way ArcGIS Enterprise. Uh, can, right? ArcGIS Online, it's a turnkey solution. It's a subscription model. Uh, it's already set up. You just log in and you've got access to all the bells and whistles. But ArcGIS Enterprise is software. It's installed on infrastructure that you and the organization manages. This gives organizations full control over their system, administration, security, customization, and integration. Right, you have to manage upgrade life cycles. You have to manage the backend hardware, um, but you have more control over all of that because it is software. Um, I'll share this article out, uh, so be sure to track our Twitter. Uh, but this table kind of goes through some specifics on online versus enterprise. Then it goes into different deployment and maintenance uh, options. Again, online is uh, already set up and running and gets several updates per year versus enterprise. You have to architect and deploy it and uh, uh, decide when you perform your upgrades. Uh, another major difference here is around the data storage options. So ArcGIS Online, uh, users typically store and use data within uh, the software as a service. So you publish, you host your data up in the cloud versus enterprise, you get to choose whether you store your data. So you can host data inside of ArcGIS's data store, or you can deploy your own enterprise database servers and you can store your data there. So more control over where and how data is managed. Um, security requirements come into play when choosing online or enterprise. Uh, so online is a secure SaaS product with security strategy that's based on industry standards. Uh, it's also compliant with a set of security standards. Um, but if you have more specific security needs, like you need an environment uh, behind a firewall, then uh, this is where ArcGIS Enterprise can come into play. Um, then lastly here, it talks about how to use online and enterprise together. I think this is a very common pattern that we see uh, where you're using enterprise, but you also are using online to leverage some of the content and base maps, uh, as well as be able to share content publicly um, or more easily get data and information out into the field. And you may set up collaborations between your enterprise and online uh, accounts. So again, I'll be sure to share this article out, but if you are considering enterprise or online, uh, this is a, a good one to reference and look at uh, the differences here.